Hello and welcome to another tutorial on EPA testing with Python series. Uh, now today I'm going to show you how uh, we can run uh, tests in parallel. So there's a plugin for uh, 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 in, within PyTest that helps you to run uh, tests in pa parallel. Uh, if you search, uh, go to Google and search for PyTest parallel, you get a link for the plugin that is xdist. So you can basically install this uh, same way just like any you would install any other library pip install pytest hyphen xdist uh, once you do that then basically all you need to do is pass a command line argument that is minus 10 and the number of uh, threads that you want your test to be executed in so I have a file let's see how we can work with this I have a file here basically has four tests and in, within each test I have some delays so if I were to execute this uh, these tests ex sequentially then it should take more than 11 seconds now let's try to execute this uh, with the help of the plugin and see how much time it's taking I'm going to say pytest and uh, say minus n and give uh, the number is two, two threads and let's see how how much time it takes to execute for the four tests so it's definitely less than uh, 11 seconds it took 7.19 seconds now let's uh, increase the number of uh, threads and see how how the performance is okay now it took even less time almost uh, close to five seconds so, so this way we can reduce the execution time so uh, usually AP uh, uh, tests run a lot faster uh, than when uh, when you compare to like UI automation tests but even then uh, if you have like uh, uh, let's say 300 tests that take up to 15 minutes to run uh, you can make use of this uh, plugin and uh, probably bring down the overall time to up to maybe seven seven and a half uh, minutes so uh, yeah there's one drawback though uh, that is if you have a class level setup that is if you have a test of uh, number of tests defined under a class and you have a class setup that you need to run only once before uh, each uh, all the tests are run so that is not uh, basically that will get executed before each test uh, that is the one one draw, um, drawback with using this but of course if your tests are uh, independent then uh, i sure it would not matter because um, uh, basically the uh, even though your setups are run basically it creates more data but of course if you have the cleanup for uh, like uh, each uh, creation of the data then it's uh, it's not uh, not a problem so yeah considering that that is the only one drawback uh, but it's still a um, good plugin. Uh, it, can, it can dramatically decrease the overall execution of time. So, so that's the way to do it. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching.